Pope Francis landed in Brazil tonight, a country with more Catholics than any other. His mission to reinvigorate the church and reconnect with its youth. A pontiff known for his relaxed approach travelled into Rio in a modest family car. Window wound down and security officials struggling to keep the crowds back. There were chaotic scenes as the Pope's car was stuck for minutes in a traffic jam. Even here, the Catholic Church is under pressure from secularism and the growth of energetic evangelical churches. The Pope's task is by no means easy. Sun worshippers are having to make way for more than a million pilgrims as Copacabana Beach is transformed. This is, above all, a jamboree, a celebration of the Catholic faith and of Catholic youth. It would be highly unlikely if Pope Francis were to delve into either local politics or Vatican politics while he's here. But every word he says and everything he does will be closely watched. Well, Francis is not concerned about being careful. He's concerned about being true and being prudent. He's a pope from South America, and he knows the great discrepancies, the disparity, the differences, the divisions that exist among the poor and the rich. Last month, Livia was protesting on the streets of Rio against government, inaction and corruption. Today, she's singing for the Pope and sees no contradiction between her role as a protester and a pilgrim. The Pope understands that the people want a better life for everyone. We want an end to corruption. I think he supports our protests. There's a huge sense of goodwill in Rio this week, and many here are hoping that lasts well beyond the Pope's visit. Buda Davis, BBC News, Rio de Janeiro.